Today on CG Offer, we're going to make our F-150 Raptor breathe better and lower its intake temperatures for more horsepower. The EcoBoost F-150 and the Raptor came from the factory with a front mount intercooler, but there's certainly room for improvement, so today we're going to be installing this Mishimoto front mount intercooler on our 2017 F-150 Raptor. This Mishimoto front mount intercooler, which will fit your 2015-17 F-150 and Raptor, is made of high quality TIG welded cast aluminum with a stealthy black powder coat finish. Its internal core volume is 77% larger with 163% more external surface area to reduce intake temps by 10 degrees for more horsepower. It's designed to be a direct swap for the factory intercooler and will help you get the most out of your modifications done to your EcoBoost, so today we're going to install it on our 2017 F-150 Raptor. Tools you'll need for this installation, 7mm socket, 8mm socket, 10mm socket, an extension, quarter inch ratchet, 13mm socket, 3 8 ratchet, a flathead screwdriver, and a trim removal tool. The first thing we have to do to this Raptor to install this intercooler is remove this ADD front bumper. If you have the factory bumper on your truck, you don't need to remove it, but because this has a skid plate that goes under the intercooler, we need to remove it. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the retaining ring on the driver's side cold side pipe. Locate the gray tab for the factory bypass valve hose, rotate it, and pull it off. Unplug the connector to the electric fans. Then you have to pop off this plastic tab right here. Loosen the two hose clamps on the passenger side hot side pipes. These are seven millimeter and they're kind of tricky to get to just because of their orientation. Then there's two 13 millimeter bolts holding on the lower cross member for the intercooler and then the intercooler can drop. When removing this bolt, just be careful, the intercooler might come down. The cross member can then be removed along with the intercooler. Then once you get the intercooler down, you can unplug this connector on the bypass valve. To make more room for the Mishimoto intercooler, we're going to remove this trim piece on the shutter system. There's a bunch of clips that you just have to lift it over and it should pop right off. With the intercooler on the table, we're going to remove the factory bypass valve by removing this 8mm screw. Rotate it and remove it. Install the provided bracket onto the factory bypass valve. Just like that. Install it into your Mishimoto intercooler. Then you can secure this bracket with the provided hardware. Tighten this nut and bolt with a 10 millimeter socket and wrench. Put a little bit of lubricant on the inlets to the intercooler to make it easier to put the couplers on. Then tighten them down. Okay, it's now ready to be put on the truck. Make sure you have the rubber grommets on top of the intercooler, then you can put it into place. Get your couplers installed, and then you can rotate your clamps to where they're easy to get to now. Push the cold side intercooler pipe towards the intercooler until this spring snaps into its groove. Just like that. With the couplers on, we can tighten the clamps. Reconnect the bypass valve hose. And then also the connector for the bypass valve. The intercooler fans can now be reinstalled. It's a tight fit, 
but they do fit. The lower cross member can now be reinstalled. Line it up with the intercooler and the fans. And then install the bolts. Last thing you have to do is plug in the connector on the fans and your installation is finished. All right, we got our Mishimoto intercooler installed on our 2017 Raptor. As you can see, it was a lot thicker than the factory intercooler. It's definitely gonna reduce our intake temperatures and help this thing run a little bit better. Installation will probably take you about two to three hours and before you know it, you'll be heading off road.